What's up guys? We're getting into the the depths of biking season. There's like a, com a lot of common uh, misconceptions about uh, maintaining your bike. A lot of people think, well, I'm not saying, I'm not gonna say a lot of people think. I get a lot of bikes in here where I see a lot of unserviced shocks, forks, shocks. I see really, you know, loose brakes, I, uh, really stiff headsets. And I'm just kind of like, what are these guys doing? The thing is, you have to maintain your bike to keep it running brand new like it is. See my bike right here, it's it's pretty new and then so I haven't had to maintain anything yet but today we're going to go over some of the things that you need to look at, some of the things that you need to keep up with to keep your bike running brand new because just like a car, just like a lawnmower, just like basically everything, you got to service it every once in a while to keep things from breaking and, and, and stop it from creaking and different things like that. The first thing I'm going to go over is uh, suspension. A lot of people think that they can just buy a bike and then just ride it and then just, you know, not have to worry about anything else. But that is false. Based off how you ride it, you'll need to uh, service, service it a lot more. But if you're riding your bike and it's making kind of weird noises, kind of like, uh, almost like burps, that is usually a noise that um, you want to make sure that uh, your bike is getting serviced, getting it looked at. Trail Labs is a great company in Springfield that services suspension and they, they do a great job and they can get you set straight. And uh, th the reason why I tell you to service your suspension, we can look over here, is if you don't, things like this happen, where the, uh, the, l the legs of the stanchions just basically rub off and you can't really do anything with that fork but make a nice ornament on the, on the wall. And uh, you don't want that. Um, luckily, this is an older fox, um, but it'd be really, really cool if we had this one and was able to use it, but we can't. The next thing I like to go through is your linkage bolts, okay? I would say, I check them pretty regularly because I, I'm, I'm pretty regular on these things, but I'd say after, uh, uh, biking season, I would take have your local bike shop, or you could do it yourself. I would take out all of your linkage bolts, re-grease them, clean everything out, and then I'd put them all back in. And that's going to stop from creaking. That's going to stop from you know these wearing out. It's 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 going to help a lot in the long run. It's going to keep your bike looking really really good and really really clean. Um, next, this is probably a big important one for me is no one really considers the bottom bracket. And the bottom bracket, to keep things running smoothly, to, to make, make things really run nicely on your bike, you need to periodically, depending on what kind of bike you have, you need to take out your cranks and you need to clean your bottom bracket and you need to put new grease in there. And it should be done uh, a lot during the owning process of you owning a bike. Um, the next is what I'm going to run through is um, your transfer posts. Your transfer posts, they have a stanchion kind of like your shock. And so it will need to be maintained, it will need to be serviced, or a lot of the times you'll get a, uh, uh, you'll get a transfer post that goes down, comes up very smoothly, very slowly, or it goes down, doesn't come up at all, um, leaks all the air out. Because there's air in here, over time air is going to leak and that's gonna run into problems. Also, periodically, you need to replace all of your cables. The most important ones are ones that have wires in them, so you need to replace your shifting cable. And pe people come in, it's like, why is my shifting so bad, but you know, I have a brand new cassette and derailleur. Well, you need to try your shifting cable and you need to try your sh shifting housing. That is so, so important. And so you need to keep an eye on these, replace it periodically if things are getting loose and, and different things like that. Lastly, what I'm gonna go over is your brake pads. Um, your brake pads wear. It's probably one of the um, quickest things to wear. And the more you ride, the more you need to look at them. So a lot of bikers, they really like to use their front br uh, brake more and then their back brake less because it's um, the stopping power kind of ratio, I guess. And so what you can do is A, buy all new brake pads or you can switch your rear brake pad to your front and then just wait to get another brake pad. And that's what a lot of people do. It's kind of like rotating tires, but 
don't rotate tires on your bike. A few honorable mentions is you need to check your sealant. Your sealant can dry up, um, it can leak out, a bunch of di different things. So uh, check that pretty regularly because you know that can, that can definitely help you. Your headset needs to be taken out, re-greased periodically. Um, because if not, you'll start turning this like this and you'll hear like a crunch noise. And that, I mean, that's just never good. Mine right now, it's, uh, it's turning really smoothly. That's, that's because I, uh, I maintain it very well. Um, your seat, you need to sometimes take off your seat, clean off the seat posts, and uh, because that can cause a lot of creaking when you sit down and nobody really, really likes that. I'm a big wheel guy, if uh, any, of, any of you guys know me. Your wheels, I don't care if they come from the top, top brands um, like i9 or anything like that. You need to periodically set them on a truing stand, have your local bike shop do it, or just to check them out and see if they're true, see if they're tensioned, see if there's any loose spokes, because you really, really want to avoid breaking spokes, um, because in the long run, you're losing quite a bit of money. And then if your uh, bike has other suspension, like say, uh, like the Switch Infinity, this periodically needs to be greased and that's really, really important. If you buy a really, really nice bike and you wanna keep it well, there's just a few things that you wanna stay on top of to keep this bike looking nice, holding its value if you ever wanna resell and buy a new one. And uh, thank you guys for tuning in. We got a, some really exciting announcements about Howler. Um, and so I would just stay tuned and uh, keep up with us. Follow us on Instagram. We have the TikTok. We have the, do we have Twitter? We have Facebook. Um, and follow all of our pages. And until next time, see you guys. Peace.